setting the space for sacred work, for writing, for working with clients in a therapeutic one-on-one -on -one exchange or ceremonial group work or workshops, master classes. It is a grounding, beautiful thing to anchor your presence in the space around you and create a sacred space, connecting with the elements of fire and water and i like to include our ancestors from the oceans we came from These, my most ancient <laughs> listening ears, are a reminder for me to do that deep listening and symbolic of spirit and our place in the interconnected sacred geometry of our multidimensional existence. A singing bowl, music, sound. And I also have something representative of air and burn incense or a sacred plant which also connects us to this earth and nature. Uh, plants such as cedar and sage, which can be sage you grow in your yard um, or in a, a pot, a window, um, inside or outside. And well, there are all kinds of sacred objects you can have on an altar, crystals. Um, here's more plant relatives and wisdom keepers. And um, I have here also Isis this beautiful protectress guardian of sacred rebirthing and more <laughs> crystals this one has this dual nature and um, so much more, you get the idea, connect with your own medicine, um, bring forth what is evocative to you that anchors you in the now. I have also Florida water. This one was um, created by a sister. I have uh, various kinds. Um, made by different people and so those are the objects which are meaningless without your intention so dropping into your intention um, what you intend to hold space for whether as a channel to birth a creation, such as writing, 
or um, to call in a sacred healing space to have guardians of light uh, and your team working with you, calling in the space, the intentional healing space, collaborative, co-creative space with another or many others for the highest good, connecting to whatever energies you weave with, having that intention and um, placing this intention to welcome these objects, these beings, these reminders to support your intention for this specific uh, practice, class, session. So now we've anchored that intention or we've named that intention. We anchor, you drop into a sacred space, grounding yourself in your breath, grounding yourself on this earth and connecting to the flow from the divine and that descending feminine birthing life force energy, anchoring that feeling feet rooted and all that you named with your invitation intention you translate into an invocation in this sacred space you're dropping into you intend now to open the space for all that you named inviting all whom you named to be a space holder with you inviting your allies for your work, to support your work, to be beside you, to guide you and facilitate your flow, your magic. What else does spirit want to say about this? Be creative and have fun and know that we do this work, whatever work your soul is doing, in whatever capacity, whatever form of creative creativity, uh, creative birthing, whether for healing work or, well, isn't it all healing work, all evolutionary, even if you're a teacher of some practical skill like fixing a car that can be of a, of a spiritual nature um, to support the joy of exploring life or support going to and from work to support a family and the thriving, uh, going to adventures. So yes, Everything is divine and um, sacred and for a spiritual evolutionary purpose as practical or as etheric, etherical, ethereal <laughs> as it may be. And um, what else does spirit want to say for this moment? Create create, have fun creating, have fun creating a space that supports your soul to be creative in this uh, embodied life. I'm Diana Clue. You can connect with me through dianahealing.com.